Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at a Datron 1065 uh, auto calibrating digital bench multimeter. These meters were produced way back in uh, the 1980s and this particular model has a five and a half uh, digit display and it has an accuracy on the DC range of uh, around five parts per million. So let's have a closer look at the, uh, the features. Here you can see the five and a half digit plasma discharge display. It's an orange uh, display. Down here in the middle we have the main function buttons, DC, AC, true RMS, AC voltage and ohms button. And these buttons across the top here are the range buttons, uh, the manual range buttons. But you can also select the auto ranging, this one here and then it will automatically select the correct range for that particular reading. The other buttons down here, uh, the zero button, we have a filter button which is used on the AC range. It's recommended that if you're uh, reading AC signals which are lower than 360 Hz then you activate the filter. And we have another button here which switches the input leads from the front to the rear of the meter. Pressing again returns it back to the front. The buttons under the display we have test, specification, we can look at the minimum and maximum readings over a set of readings and we have the reset button. And in the bottom right hand corner there's the on-off switch. At the left here we have the four input connections. The bottom two are the main two, the plus and the minus input connections. And the other two are used when you're using a four wire uh, lead, such as a four wire uh, resistance reading function. So they're the main uh, uh, controls on the, on the front, uh, front panel. Let's have a look at the rear of the unit. At the rear of the unit we have the mains input connector and the, and the input fuse. Here we have the uh, GPI-B connector with the IEEE 488 standard. And the address can be selected by this DIL switch here at the bottom. This socket here is used for external trigger. The key switch here is used to switch it into calibration mode and we have another switch here which is a calibration check switch which is labelled 24 hours, 90 days and 1 year. The right connector is the uh, rear input connector for the uh, main leads to the, to the meter. The meter has a test function. Uh, here we have the test button on the front of the unit here. If I press that you'll see it go through the uh, test sequence. First of all, testing the display, all the uh, segments of the display. It then goes through another test sequence, testing the other parts of the instrument. And uh, if you pass, it comes up, as you see there, with a pass remark on the display. If there was an error with the meter, you'd get an error code showing on the, on the display there. To come out of the test mode, simply press the reset button here and that returns the meter back to normal function. Here you can see on the side of the unit we have the screws, four screws here to remove the top and the bottom covers of the meter. Same on the other side of the unit. I'll just remove these now and we'll have a look inside the, the meter itself. Okay here we can see the inside, the top part of the, uh, the meter itself. Uh, the front panel is there on the right. The bottom module here is the main analog circuitry for the meter, all the input circuitry and the reference voltage etc. And the other printed circuit board here is the, the digital board uh, with the micro computer on there to uh, control the function of the meter. Down here at the back we have the uh, switching relays and the switching circuitry switching to the 
back connectors for the meter and here at the top here at the back we have the the main power supply there you can see the toroidal main transformer it is in fact two toroidal main transformers and they've been strapped together so let's zoom into each part of the meter and have a look in more detail at these uh, these modules here okay here we can see the the main uh, analog printed circuit board here here is the input switching arrangement you see we have a, a relay there and we also have a, a, a solid state relay behind it these uh, resistors here this uh, film film resistor and these other precision resistors here uh, control the gain of uh, the input amplifier to the to the board. In this bottom corner here we can see the uh, reference voltage circuitry for the meter. They actually use two uh, temperature compensated Zener diodes which have been specially selected during manufacture so that they match precisely and uh, their associated resistors have also been matched as well. You can also see here all these black resistors, high precision resistors, uh, plus a number of shorting links you can see here as well. And it's this arrangement that is used during manufacture to trim the reference voltage for, for the meter itself. Across the top here we have the digital ICs providing the interface into the um, the main digital board above and these ICs here are optocoupler ICs providing the necessary um, isolation between this board and the other circuitry of the meter itself. I'll just zoom in and have a closer look here at the uh, voltage reference circuit for the meter. Here you can see the uh, voltage reference circuitry on this board. The two orange temperature compensated Zener diodes providing the, the reference voltage, both a negative and a positive reference voltage in this case. And all of the black resistors here are very high stability resistors uh, and they're used together with these shorting links to calibrate the unit during manufacture. In the middle of the board here you can see the um, resistors that are used to set the uh, gain of the, the operational amplifier at the input circuitry of the meter. Uh, this is used on the different ranges and these are high precision uh, resistors. Uh, in fact I can read on there it says they're Kelvin uh, type resistors so very accurate to a few parts per million in terms of a temperature coefficient of those uh, those resistors okay let's have a look at the uh, digital board here at the top uh, just pick out some of the main features uh, there at the top we have the main uh, microprocessor IC which is a uh, MC6800 here you can clearly see we have two EEPROMs which are storing the uh, the software for the meter and uh, these four chips here are static RAMs. These small ones are two double one fours, one K RAMs and the bottom two here are uh, a two fifty six by four bit I think uh, RAMs and I think it's these two here that are used to store the the calibration settings for the meter. Here we can see we have a backup battery which is a 3.7 volt NICAD battery. That provides the voltage for these, these two RAM chips here when the meter is switched off. Here you can see another large IC which is the analog to digital converter they're using a Ferranti uh, ZNA2035 uh, on some models you may find there's a heatsink on this particular IC on this particular one there's no heatsink you'll notice here 
in the middle of the unit we have a module, a printed circuit board going from the rear panel here to the front panel. That's providing the internal connections from rear to front. They do it with the means of a, a printed circuit board. And similarly on the bottom here we have another one running from the uh, back panel here and the front panel and that's providing the uh, input signals going to the circuitry here to be able to switch them over to the rear connectors on the back. Okay let's turn it around and let's have a look at the other side, the underside of the of the meter. Here you can see the the modules uh, on the underside of the the meter um, there's the, the, the front panel again, that side. We have two modules here at the top. The module here at the front is the resistance module. And the unit behind it here is the AC voltage module. Below we have one module here which is the uh, GPIB IEEE 488 interface board. OK, let's zoom in and have a little look at each of those modules. Here you can see a closer look at the AC module. Here you see the switching relays. Uh, under this uh, screen here we have the uh, frequency compensation circuitry. You can see popping through there some of the uh, Teflon uh, adjustable capacitors. There's the uh, true uh, RMS decoder chip. The RMS converter takes a scaled reading of the AC voltage, true RMS reading, and converts it into an equivalent DC voltage, and then feeds that through to the uh, analog to digital converter on the board on the other side of the meter. We'll just have a little look under the uh, screening can here, which is the front end of the uh, AC module where we have the uh, frequency compensation circuitry. I'll just remove the cover. Okay, there you can see. I'll just zoom into that. We can have a closer look. What's there? These are the uh, relays again. This is the uh, solid state relays. Another one here. Two other large relays, probably for the higher current ranges. These are all the switching relays. The solid state relays are used to switch in the frequency compensation depending on the range of the meter, and the trimming capacitors here used to uh, adjust that compensation during calibration. OK, here's a uh, closer look at the uh, resistance uh, module. Um, the way this works is that they have a operational amplifier here which is uh, controlled to give a, a constant current, a very accurate constant current, uh, by there's switching in some high tolerance resistors here, these green high tolerance resistors, there's some black ones up there. Uh, the relay is doing the switching and then basically what the unit does, it uh, puts a known current through the unknown resistor that you're reading and measures the voltage and then supplies that voltage to the main uh, microprocessor digital board and calculates the resistance of the unknown resistor. Here we're looking down the power supply from the other side. Um, transformer again on the right there. Down there on the on the heat sink we have the main 5 volt regulator. On this heat sink here we have a small power transistor which is providing the negative 175 volts for the uh, display. 
further along we have two more heat sinks there and there. This one here we have the uh, minus 15 volt regulator on and on that one there we have the, the plus 15 volt regulator. Here at the back you can see the two smoothing capacitors associated with the plus and the minus 15 volt supplies. On the same printed circuit board as the power supply at this side you can here clearly see the switching relays and the circuitry uh, associated with the switching from the front input connections to the rear input connections. I've just moved the uh, the front panel of the meter so we can have a clear view of the uh, printed circuit board here. There you can see the plasma discharge display. Uh, all the switches here with their individual LED indicators. Here you can see the transistors associated with each of the segments there. And on this side uh, we have a, a large IC there which is in fact the MC14515 which is a latch and line decoder driving the display. And the large IC here is in fact a D8279C which is a programmable keyboard and display interface uh, adapter. Another interesting point here is the two large ICs have custom made IC sockets with a very very low profile uh, in order that they don't hit up against the, uh, the front panel. Well there you have it, the Datron 1065 uh, digital multimeter. I hope you found that uh, teardown of interest and I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.